Hey everyone, this is Mason from FilterGrade. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the most useful keyboard shortcuts in Adobe After Effects. Set Keyframe Normally, to set a keyframe in After Effects, you could just click on the stopwatch icon on the desired location. However, there is a keyboard shortcut to set a keyframe of each of the different types. On Windows, hold Alt and Shift, or on Mac, hold Option. Then press either A, P, S, R, or T to set a keyframe for anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity, respectively. Show keyframed properties. Speaking of keyframes, if you have your keyframes set up and want to edit them all, you can press U to show all keyframe properties. This is notably different than just opening up the transform properties because it only shows assets and transform properties that you have a keyframe for. So if you don't have a rotation keyframe, for example, then that won't show up when you press U. And you can always press U again to toggle back to a regular view. Fit to canvas width. Instead of manually scaling an item to fit your project, you can use a keyboard shortcut to fit the item to your canvas automatically. Press Shift, Control, Alt, and H on Windows, or Shift, Command, Option, H on Mac to do this instead of scaling the object by hand. Drag to retime. Now this is a cool one. If you have multiple keyframes in a keyframed sequence and need to increase or decrease the length of the entire animation, it can be annoying to manually set new times for each of the keyframe marks. Fortunately, there is an easy way to stretch your keyframes while preserving the proportions. Select all of the keyframes in the animation, then hold Alt on Windows or Option on Mac. Then drag the first or last keyframe to the desired location, and the keyframes in between will move to maintain the proportion. Basically, you will be applying a speed change to your animation. Split a layer. To cut a layer and automatically create a new layer for the split, you can press Ctrl, Shift, and D on Windows or Command, Shift, and D on Mac. This is a bit faster than clicking Edit Split Layer from the menu. These five After Effects shortcuts should make your workflow smoother and faster when animating in After Effects. If you have a favorite shortcut that you use all the time, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.